Hey guys, GWS here. Here to report yet another liberal server ban. I got banned from something called the Discourse Discord, which, um, if you look at the description here, Discourse Discord provides a comfortable community for those all over the world who want a casual place to talk about politics, democratically elected mods. Right, so... This is basically, if you go into the server especially, they are, they try to talk about how they are free speech warriors, all that. I have about over a half hour of audio, if I am pressed, that I can show where they constantly harass, they harass three different people because of views that were different than their own, and they used God modding in all of those circumstances. So first of all, let me just confirm the fact that, yes, I am banned from the server, um, and if I continue here, I am only in my own server, GCN, GWS Debate Network, right? So, there's that. So, basically we get into an argument over Washington Post and their validity, and people in this server, being the liberals that they are, they are arguing for the veracity of the Washington Post, despite being exposed by multiple entities, including recently just Project Veritas, where on one hand they're saying they are like the Russia stuff is nonsense, and then on the other hand, the stories that they're producing are utter nonsense. But then we get into a point where, as usual, with these things, it devolves into nonsense. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the original conversation recorded. I only have the aftermath after they were trying to censor me because they were attempting to mute me. And then they were saying, well, since you muted, you know, because I muted myself there for a minute because what happened was it was just getting so immature that I just said I was going to block out voice. But then there was um, someone named, I believe it was FK, something like that. He starts talking, and then I'm trying to respond to something he says, and then I see that I'm muted. So I unmute myself, I try to say something else, and then they start muting me. And then I get on to them for being angry, triggered, snowflakes that they are, which they are, because they can't take it, and then they just permanently start muting me. And then we get into a discussion, I get into back and forths with mods, and, you know, I just pretty much tell them, you know, don't be a pussy about it, you know, ban me. You know, because I like, you know, like I said with the other discords that I was in, um, what I want is... Don't be half-assed. Like, if my views are not welcome, they are not welcome. You know, don't mute me. Don't do these childish antics, you know. If, you're, if my words are not wanted, then remove me from the server. It's that simple. You know, and I can show you on my server where I've done just that. Let's see if I have... Oh, I don't have my... PMs up anymore. Sad. Hmm. I wonder if I even have, um, I don't know if you can look at your past PMs, but it doesn't mean a lot. But he, here's my server right here. Um, my original server, and I can show you the, um, the audit log here. And see, other than all these invites that I've created, because I have to keep creating them. Because, like, you know, I don't like having to type out the link. And see, it's like when somebody does stuff, you know, I just flat ban them. I don't mute. I don't pussyfoot around. Like, these people were spammers, and they were trying to compromise the server. So, I banned them. You know, you don't pussyfoot around it, is what I'm saying. Like, you do not pussyfoot around it. Just, if you don't want somebody on the server, you don't want somebody on the server. My server is a true free speech server, which means you can express whatever opinions you want. 
I'm not going to ban you for your opinion. I'm not going to ban you for any slander or whatnot. But the fact is, you know, I might ban not safe for work stuff because it's just, um, like I need to create a room for that. I need to put random for a thought, not safe for work. But the point I'm getting at is this. Is these liberal servers, even ones that pretend to be for free speech, they're not for free speech. These servers are completely independent of that. This, this is a server that gets triggered, full of young people, as a lot of discords are, and these young people cannot control their emotions. And it's like, you know, I wish I had the conversation recorded because I don't get emotional. And I guess that's part of my problem is I'm looking objectively at things. Maybe I need to start screaming over people because that's what they do. They won't let you get a word in edgewise. They're more interested in talking than they are listening. They're more interested in inter interrupting you rather than wanting you to finish your thought. And then, you know, it's very hard to have a rational discussion when the discussion derails, goes into the weeds, um, you know, and you're being constantly baited with red herrings. And when people, you know, I mean, you can have a disagreement over what constitutes as evidence, and, and that's a reasonable debate. But when you start acting immature, like what happened on that server, that's where you get the problems. That's where the problem with political discourse is today. And I think my experience with these discords, I even experienced it, drunken peasants. Drunken peasants is supposed to be as free as it gets, but they get very, very, very angry when you disagree with them. I think people need to understand this. And this this is where um, I'm in the right place, mentally. But most people, liberal conservatives, are not. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, I'm just saying the truth. Because I can be civil with people I fundamentally disagree with, even if I agree with them on nothing. And, and this is where you can build consensus, where you can build relationships, where you can reach out to people, where you can enjoy other people, despite your political differences. And that's, that's, the pro that's the problem we're facing today is we really have to straighten up as a society and learn to have civil discourse. And, you know, I, if you're looking for a server, just know if you go to Discourse Discord and you're a right winger, there is a 95% chance that you're going to be banned. And in fact, it's interesting too, because I have um, screen recordings of them saying that they ban everybody. They have the original people they started the server with because all the new people, they get banned. And so I think that this server maybe needs to learn a little bit of a lesson of what they're looking for. You know, and it's it's okay, too. It's like, if you're not for free speech, you know, that's your right. The problem comes when you're trying to deceive an entire community of people to say that you're something you're not. You're not free speech. It's okay. It's just a fact. But anyhow, this goes in my trophy case, you know. I'm going to have to make a playlist of this pretty soon. So we got um, David Pakman Reddit, David Pakman's Discord, Secular Talk Reddit, Secular Talk Discord, and now we have um, the Discourse Discord. So that's five trophies in my trophy case. It's going to be mighty stacked soon because I'm not done. I am not done. Because the fact is that, you know, 
Discord is... It's not the, the best. You know, you can't have as nuanced of a discussion as you can in YouTube comments for the, for the simple reason of, yeah, people in YouTube comments can be dumb, but the one fact is that you have a huge character limit. And you have time to think about what you're going to say and then do some fact-checking on yourself. Do some fact-checking on yourself. Or on... Yeah, do thinking for yourself, fact-checking on yourself, and um, fact-checking of others, including the video you're commenting on. And you can formulate an opinion. But, I don't know, Discord, I guess, gives you the underground... Like, what people are actually thinking. Like, hot takes of what people are actually thinking, basically. So, bottom line is, people need to grow up. People need to understand that civil discourse is the way you get things done. And if they're not willing to do that, well, I guess they just gotta lose more elections, don't they? Anyhow, thanks for listening, guys. God bless.